what we have here is a seat IB is a 2010 doing the front disc and pads on this all you need is brake cleaner which is here you need a couple of grease brake pads brake disc wire brush you need a hex uh, 7 mm uh, socket bit with a ratchet screwdriver and a torque bit which is T27 for the Allen key bolt here what you need to do is unscrew the bolt here first what you have here on the back plastic caps for the caliper you remove those remove that and then you've got the ratchet which is this one here make sure you put it on open position you unscrew it do the same thing on the top here now that's when that's loose what you've got to do is put a screwdriver in through the caliper push the pistons back slowly Make sure the piston goes right back. You've got to do it really gently. Once that's done, all you need to do is remove the caliper bolts. Now we remove the cap, take the brake pads out, we remove these pads as well, we've got springs on them, see, just this. What we need to do now is remove the disc, and you've got to see the state of the calipers, they're quite dirty, quite dirty here, quite dirty here, I'll get a wire brush, give it a good clean. Do the same thing on the top. The same thing here as well. The calipers is all cleaned up now. Give it a good blow. Now we've got a new set of discs here. All we need is a bit of brake cleaner. Give it a good clean. One side is done, do the same thing on the other side, give it a good clean. Make sure when you do line the caliper, uh, disc up with the hub bit, that's the screw there, the screw bit goes straight on. We've got the screw here, which goes on. Now what we have here is brake pads. These are the, for the outside of the these are for the outside of the um, caliper, which goes slots in there like this. And then those are for the inside. But before you put them in, make sure you put a bit of copper grease on there, right here, so they slot in easy. And just put a bit here as well, so it's good on sliding. We should done that. Got to push them in. That's on. Then you do the same thing with the other pads as well. So put them like that. There we go. And you do put the calipers on if you see these this gap here. Push it in. Push the calipers down. And that's shot back. And in the back of it, you've got the torque bits. You screw it in to make sure they go in by hand nice and easy. Do the same thing on there. Make sure they go in by hand nice and easy. 
once you've done that you put the caps back on there's top one there as well all you need is the torque bit now again to tighten up the break the spot job done on this side so now we can put the wheel back on Line the wheels up first, put the screws in, right. put the socket in, do the box up, screw in so much that you can bun them easily. That's done. Get the wheel back to the gun, the normal box. With the locking wheel nut, don't do it up with the gun, do it with the hand. That side is done, now we've got to do this side. So, the same procedures again for this here, for the other side. Uh, remove the wheels first, then the calipers, clean the calipers up, clean the brake area up, and take the disc off, put the new ones on, put the new caliper back on as well, and job done. Thank you.